Good afternoon, everyone. This is Matt over at MilestoneCapitalGrowthPortfolio.com. Today is Thursday, February 4th. All right, awesome day, awesome week. Can't beat it. I mean, this market is just out of control, first of all. I mean, it is just, it's just nuts right now. Wild swings during the day make for very, very, very profitable, di profitable days. Okay, we're going to look at SPY, and we're going to look at a couple of bios uh, that are looking pretty good and see where they're going to go next. Okay, uh, we're going to start off with SPY here, and uh, we're going to look start at the daily. You can see Sto is getting ready to cross here, um, but we did break the middle Bollinger Band. Here's my issue. My issue is the upper and lower Bollinger Band is getting really tight right here. Okay, we don't have a big spread like we do right here. Uh, they're going to need to create one, so we are either going to blast to the upside or we are going to blast to the downside. But the way the Sto is looking right now, uh, and the volume, you know, is not it's not bigger than average. It's just chilling. Um, I have a feeling there's a lot of uh, a lot of people in the market that are saying, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to hold this or not. So we'll have to see what happens. But if we do go to the upside, uh, you know, a couple of things that we want to keep an eye out for. First of all, I'm going to drop this down to the hourly so we can get a good view here. Uh, we had this gap here that uh, actually filled. That's what our anticipated move was from here to here. We did fantastic with that. It was very, very lucrative. Um, and then the puts to the downside and so on and so forth. It makes for a great day for trading. So here we are coming into, you know, here's the last hour right here. You know, they had the regular volume coming into it. Stowe's getting ready to cross our size at about 54. And uh, you are over the middle bowl in Japan. They did pull it up on on that, so which is pretty nice. Um, you get a couple of trend lines in place. And uh, there's actually a consolidation box. And we'll take a look at all this in just a second here. So you can see right here, we have this. Uh, this is the uptrend line currently right now. And we have the downtrend line. The reason I'm using the hourly, because we're going to need this for tomorrow. We're not going to really use it daily, because your hourly move is going to be based off of this. So uh, jobs tomorrow, um, if they're you know whatever the market makers want to do if they're good or bad they're gonna move it either up or down either way right now we're in a bullish stance um, but we will have to get through this but if they do gap up we could hit this 200 day moving average and sell off if they do gap down they will probably hit the down and then buy up to fill the gap so uh, be in the chat room we'll manage that the entire time with you I promise so dropping it down a little bit a uh, little bit more here uh, I like to use a 15 minute during the day and uh, once we get into this consolidation right here uh, it really didn't do anything and it was just squeezing everything there is really no room on these Bollinger Bands like they have here um, so tomorrow's going to be pretty iffy on what's going to take place I do think they spread these middle Bollinger Bands somehow some way whether it's to the upside or downside we won't know until tomorrow uh, it's very confusing right now, this chart, uh, but we did break this trend, downtrend line on the 15 minute with this candle and close above it uh, in the last 15 minutes. Um, but you know how that goes, a lot of short covering into uh, into the close, so you never know. We do have upside gaps on this chart to keep an eye out for. So we'll manage this very tight tomorrow morning. Um, we do have a PCLN trade that uh, could be an epic trade. Uh, you know how that moves on a Friday, so make sure you're in the chat room tomorrow. We'll be able to go over that. Um, it, we have, we're going to go over a couple of daily charts that look really nice right now. Uh, we'll leave SPY the way it is. Um, you can see that the candles on the daily, though, it just, you know, this is just nothing. It's just a mess. There's such indecision right now. Um, so we're going to take a look at Bluebird first. Uh, Bluebird, uh, we, I talked about this one in the member video last night. We had a nice move today. Uh, you know, a $6 move, 14%. Can't beat it. Uh, congratulations to the members uh, on those. Uh, on those options because those options played very very nicely uh, BIIB had a nice little move also pulled right back down again uh, you're gonna have to keep an eye on this one I'm not sure if it's gonna get legs to get up and get this gap at 292 and this next gap over here at 305 uh, that doesn't look too uh, doesn't look too promising at this point but we'll have to see what happens uh, on this next move uh, CELG had some nice move today too. Middle Bollinger Band, I keep an eye on that. If we break this Middle Bollinger Band, I would expect more upside. Uh, you do have the downtrend line in place that you want to keep an eye out for, if, and that's what your resistance was today. Uh, if we do break this Middle Bollinger Band, expect a nice move to the upside on that one. All right, we're going to take a look at two more real quick here. INCY, you know, consolidating along the bottom, started getting a little bit of movement here. Keep an eye on this gap right here first. This will be really, this will be real important. 70 because um, if it breaks that then I would assume that's gonna test this really quick and uh, we could get a candle spike up a little bit higher so uh, it's coming off the RSI is coming up pretty good uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that plus you had increased volume uh, ALNY is going to be next here 
it's forming a nice solid bottom so far this candle is a little bit shaky to me um, but the RSI is turning up and you had increased volume on two days with uh, you know a little bit of movement you had you know you had a full move of eleven dollars or seven eighteen percent to the upside so uh, pretty good there uh, if it does hold this again look for another pop up to the middle Bollinger Band I mean it's just that easy um, what's there was one other one I wanted to look at oh yeah kite okay kite is a, is a, you know this is a rough one um, but it's holding right now uh, it does have room to test this middle Bollinger Band again and also break this so keep an eye on uh, kite too some of the bios are starting to look good um, a little over 50 percent of my list today were in the green uh, which is great so um, we have the new service my trades I'm sure everybody's heard of it that watches my video uh, what it is is the whatsapp uh, that you that you have on your phone or your wherever um, and I send out exactly what I'm doing so I'll put my uh, the strike that I'm getting in mostly for options some stock um, but basically it's it, it's the strike my entry my exit my stop and so on and so forth um, and it worked out real well we're four days into it right now and I've had a fantastic week and I think uh, you know everybody else has too you could check that out I think you could see it right here coming into the interview you could see right now we're about a thousand thirty nine percent with an average of eighty six point six six percent uh, we, I do have a couple more open. Most of, I told everybody to close these other ones, but I do have a couple open right now, and uh, they're still doing very well. But you can see it's been a great week. Uh, you know, we've had some fantastic trades, good average. Um, the room is filling up fast, so uh, look underneath this video. I will post a link uh, for YouTube, and you can you can uh, order there. It's 250 bucks a month. Everybody's, you know, it's it's pretty simple, pretty basic. Uh, you get everything sent directly to your phone, and I send it to you before I make the purchase. I promise you that. Um, so you'll get all the information on the trade itself also, so you won't have to do any work anymore. All right, this is Matt over at MilestoneCapitalGrowthPortfolio.com. Have yourself a fantastic night.